Hey everybody, I've got a new trick-or-treating candy corn for you this year. Now I've got six already on the channel from before and I had somebody recently reach out and ask if I was going to make any more. So we are going to do a zombie candy corn today. I am using acrylic paints, but as always, you can use paint pens or acrylic paints, whatever you prefer. So we're going to split our candy corn into three layers. We're going to do pink on top green in the middle, and then some brown along the bottom. Now the brown's kind of pants, you can do whatever color you want. Uh, the pink we're gonna do in a couple layers and shades. Now we're gonna kind of stretch that out a little bit over the outline, and then we're gonna add two circles on the face because our eyes are gonna be in there later. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of black to our palette to mix into our pink to give us kind of this purplish shadow pink color. Then we're going to come back into our brains area and add some C shapes and some wiggly lines along the outline edge a little bit just to make it look a little more like brains. Just a couple swipes in those pink circles as well. Now I'm using a disposable eyeliner brush for some of the lining on this because I didn't want to use my paint pens at all except at the very end I do cheat one time, but that's only because I couldn't find white acrylic paint. Uh, we're gonna use these to line everything around the whole outline, and then we're gonna go back and add some definition lines um, within our design as well. We're gonna do some little hash marks to kind of dirty up his pants, because zombies are always dirty, right? They're always beat up and roughed up a little bit. And we're also gonna go around our eyes a little. Just these little half C little dash style lines. None of these are super crisp or clean. It just gives him a fun kind of rustic -y look. And I see I even go on the outside of the eyes a little bit around, kind of give him that blacked out eye look. So these definition lines, you can do the outline. As you can see, the harder you press with your brush, you'll lose that really hard tip, but you can kind of still manipulate the paint really well with these to get fine lines when you need to as you lift up and away or you can press down hard to get these longer uh, wider stripes so we're going to add on legs and feet and a few arms to the sides and i actually decided to come back and add a little bit more dark around the top because i gave him a more little sinister look here's my cheat it's my extra fine tip if you've got acrylic paint and a uh, toothpick you can do that with dots as well isn't he cute follow along for more ideas 